Hi, Dr. Daniel. Thank you Hi. very much accepting an interview with uh, IEM uh, Education Project. You're welcome. And uh, actually, we'd like to uh, know you. And also, we have a couple questions. And uh, what is the undergraduate emergency medicine training in Mexico? Okay. And how about the, after the graduation, how the students can go residency training in Mexico? Okay. And also, is, if there's any chance, uh, international student rotation opportunities in Mexico? So okay. we, we would like to actually know all these three questions and answers. Okay. Sure. Uh, first, thank you very much for the invitation and for the interview. Uh, for me, it's very important share. For me, it's very important share with you uh, the information in, in Mexico. Uh, my name is Jesus Daniel Lopez Tapia. Uh, actually, I am the president of the Mexican Society of Emergency Medicine. But tomorrow, I will be the past president. Uh, and I am the dean of uh, the medical school in the Universidad de Monterrey. Uh, well, in, in Mexico, we have around 180 medical schools. And I don't know, maybe 80% have the, the subject of emergency medicine. We have in my university the subject of emergency medicine and we, we see uh, topics, specific topics for under uh, graduate. Because in Mexico just 20% uh, of the graduate students of, of the medical school can do it and specialty. The other uh, students Many times go to the emergency department. Uh, he, their first work is in the emergency first as a job. general practitioner. Yes, work in the in, emergency department. In the emergency department. Yeah. Because of that, it is very important the medical schools have the subject of emergency medicine. Uh, mm, Do they have to pass any exam to get into the residency? Yes, yes like the others, especially. They have to pass the, the exam uh, every year. Now we have uh, 400 uh, places to to oh. uh, to do the specialty every in year. Mexico. Every, every year, every year. Uh, position for yes. the residents. Yes. Uh, yes. How many programs in the country? Uh, around the 75. 75. 75. Residency. Yes, in the Great. in all the country. Yeah. Yes. And uh, are you accepting international uh, graduates yes. in the Mexican programs? Uh, specifically in my university, in, in Universidad de Monterrey, we have a program to change uh, uh, students. They go in the summer to Barcelona. Mm -hmm. It's ironic because Spain doesn't have the, the specialty, but uh, for the students, we send the students to, to to take the, the subject of emergency medicine in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a uh, change. But we can do it with all the all countries. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's, it's also uh, applicable to other universities in the country, or you're talking about just you know, in, in for Monterrey? It's for Monterrey, but uh, other universities uh, have the, the same uh, program. OK, great. Dr. Daniel. Uh, uh, you know, IEM-student.org platform is the, the main platform of the IEM education project, International Medicine Education Project. So uh, uh, it is really interesting to see the Mexico users uh, actually ranked as second uh, of this platform. Uh, Mexico is in top five countries uh, to using this platform. So could you please explain why is this happening? Uh, why do you think uh, Mexican uh, group actually using this platform? Uh, what is your actually opinion about this? Mm, very interesting. I think because uh, the emergency physicians population in Mexico is very young. And they have all the time the cell phone and in the, the night shift, uh, all the emergency physician. I, I think it's in around the world, that they, in Mexico, we check the information in, in the ship, always. And the success of this uh, program is very easy to access. First, it's free. And then it's very easy to access. And the information uh, is always, uh, you are always updating uh, information. 
And I think there are the three things because uh, the people in Mexico is very interesting in, in this program. Uh, it's, it's perfect, it's, it's excellent, the, the program. And I'm sure we will be the first one in maybe one month uh, before this conference because many people is uh, now uh, looking for your program. Oh, yeah, actually, we are actually uh, understand now uh, it's going to be probably first country in it soon, definitely. Uh, and also, we are looking for more collaboration from Mexico and also the South America, and we need your leadership uh, to improve this collaboration uh, the, as in order to improve undergraduate university medicine in all countries, if it is possible. Thank you very much again. You're welcome. Uh, Dr. Daniel, could you please explain about the current conference now in Cancun? Sure. Uh, this conference is uh, in, in Mexico is every year. Now we have the number 30 conference uh, in, in Mexico. We have around uh, 900 attendees, but we have uh, people from many uh, countries like Chile, Paraguay, Argentina, Colombia, Peru, Costa Rica, um, uh, I don't remember more, obviously Turkey, uh, Spain, France, India, uh, is an international uh, conference, yes, France, France, <laughs> <laughs> and now we have all the presidents of the societies in, in Latin America, is right. uh, for us is a, a honor real, uh, because uh, I think it's, it's very important the leaders of the emergency medicine in Latin America be here with us in, in Mexico. Great. Is there any specific topic that you covered this year or is it a general emergency Yes, medicine? it's a general emergency medicine. We have five rooms, uh, simultaneous five rooms, one, three for medicine, one for paramedic and one for nurses. Uh, it's five, five uh, rooms. I'll at the end of the day, we have the, our plenary uh, lecture, like you, uh, yesterday, and where, where all the people go to this plenary session. For before the close, closing yes, uh, the conference? Yes. Yeah, this is great. And uh, the, the next Congress will be uh, yeah. each time of yeah. the year? The next Congress uh, will be in February 2020, mm -hmm. in Acapulco. Oh, all right. It's another beautiful place in Mexico. Uh, and we hope uh, uh, have more and more people from more countries because the Mexican Society of Emergency Medicine is growing and we, can, we don't uh, stop this, this society. Very nice. We are really enjoying the conference and we actually uh, had many opportunities to meet with uh, other leaders uh, yes. of South America. Yes. So it was a very nice experience for us also. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ha 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 ha